This is Sean with Gate City Foundation Drainage. I'm out on an assessment today, so let's take a look. We've got this townhouse here, or condo, whatever, I think it's a townhouse. And the first thing that we've got going on is this walkway here turns into a lake. And so I'll show you some video that the homeowner sent me. Here are three pictures that the homeowners had sent me. And what we're looking at here is we're looking at that concrete walkway. You can see the black edging on the sides there. And this is standing from the front door and looking out. And when I first saw these pictures, I was like, I don't know what I'm looking at here. But once I got on site and saw that concrete walkway sloping backwards toward the house, it made complete sense that this just fills up with a, like a pond in here. And if you can tell, this concrete is sloping this way. So look at what's going on here. The concrete has simply sunk down a little bit. And so the only way to solve this is to rip up this concrete walkway and raise it up a little bit so that we have proper slope out. The other problem we have here is this whole area is very, very, very flat. And so we have basically no way for the water to get out of here. And so what I'm gonna recommend doing here is putting in a sump basin. So I've got some more pictures and video that the homeowners have sent me. Here are two pictures that the homeowners sent me and they presumably took these from inside the house. But you can tell from that side area where there's no leaves or, and the ground is bare, that's pretty much where all the water is sitting and just hanging. So it's not too difficult to see what's going on here. This apparently turns into just nothing but water. So I'm going to propose to pipe the gutters, these two gutters here into a sump basin and then pump it out to a little drainage basin thing they have right there. And we'll talk about that in a second. But the water just, just stands back here. It's got no way to get out of this area. And so we have the same thing going on over here where we have water just like pooling in this whole area and apparently this, this whole thing just floods. Here are four more pictures of this backyard area around the patio and then also around the air conditioning unit where the water just, just sits in here and has no way to get out. So we have a few gutters that are discharging right here and then we also have a little bit of an uphill neighbor that is running into this area. And once the water reaches this area, it doesn't really have a good, easy way to get out of here. And so according to the homeowners, it just hangs for a long, long time and just leaves big puddles everywhere. And the water never goes away until long after the rain stops. So we do have a little bit of uphill neighbors here. And so that water ends up here as well. And so what I would recommend is finding the low spot, the low point, which I think is right here, just from walking around. And then I would pipe one, two, three gutter downspouts into a sump basin here. We'd have to get power out to it and all that good stuff and then pipe the discharge out and around to the front. So they're telling me that this whole pad floods, everything back here floods. So in a situation like this, having a good place to take the water to is another critical part of doing a drainage job. And you know, I may be able to take the, the outlet over here to the curb so I just looked at that. I'm gonna look at, into that real quickly, but check out what's going on here. They're also saying that this whole area right here just turns into a giant pond. Take a look at what happens here in this area. So whatever drainage system the HOA has in place right here is definitely not doing what it's supposed to. And so they have a big pond that just sits right here in this drainage area. and anything that we pump into this area is going to compound this problem. But this problem is going to be a lot easier to deal with than having water up against their foundation. So that's one thing to consider. And apparently the HOA has this little 12 inch box here. And this is a sump basin. 
which I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to include in this quote us taking a look at this and seeing what's going on with it. Either the pump's not working or it's clogged up or who knows what may be going on here. But whatever is going on, it's not working. And this whole area just stays flooded during the rain and after the rain. So we're uphill to the street over here. I don't see any storm water basins around. So sending this water somewhere is gonna be a tricky part. And I'll take a look up, at the, up there at the road and see what that looks like too. Because going up and through the curb might be a good way to do it. So that's what we're working on today. I'm out here at the road. This is the unit we're talking about here. And there is a drainage basin right there, but we'd have to go through the neighbor's yard and possibly coming out right here through the curb might be a good option just to get that water completely out of there and not have to put extra burden on that pump or whatever that other thing is. So that's a possibility. This is definitely an interesting problem that they have going on. Firstly, with that concrete sloping, that walkway concrete sloping into the house, it, it looks like the concrete has just settled a little bit and whoever installed that walkway pretty much put it perfectly level. So any amount of settling is going to cause that water to, to hold right there. And you saw from the pictures that they sent me that it's just like a pond right there. And imagine having to walk through that when you're trying to go in and out of your house. And so apparently they've been dealing with these issues for several years and they've been, they've been petitioning the HOA to help them with it, but haven't had any results yet. And so I, I think putting a couple of sump basins and pumps, piping the gutter water directly into the basin and then pumping the water out will be the ticket to get that water out of there because there's just no fall anywhere around there. The area is so flat and the surrounding area is so flat. Now, if we do pump that water to that drainage basin at the front of the parking lot, that thing is not, is not working. And so if we add water to that, we're going to be compounding that problem. And I talked to the homeowners about that and, you know, adding more water in the parking lot is a lot better than having water up against your foundation. And so they're going to also talk to the HOA and see if the HOA will get that original drainage thing going that the way it was supposed to, or the way it was intended to. It looks like there's a pump in there. It looks like the pump may have burned out. It's an inexpensive, low quality pump. And so... I may be able to get over there and check out what's going on. I'll put that in my quote as well to try to do some kind of assessment as to what's going on there. So what do you all think about this job? Uh, pumping is a last resort for me, but pumping does work really, really well. And so I think in this case, this would be a good candidate for a couple of sump basins and pumps. Let me know what you all think. Thanks for watching. If you learned anything about pumping water from this quick assessment video, then you can support the channel and you know what to do here. You can also check the links below to give me a super thanks, become a member, become a patron, or buy me a coffee. Thanks again for watching.